For decades, our culture has been fascinated with true stories of organized crime figures and the mafia. But did you know Florida plays a big role in that history? Before there was the Florida lottery, there was Bolita. It was a multi-million dollar operation similar to the lottery once managed by the mafia. Click Orlando Digital Editor Christy Zizzo spoke with a Florida author who wrote all about the king of Bolita, an Orlando man named Harlan Blackburn. Looks like uh, somebody would see it uh, anywhere out in the public and just wouldn't look twice. They get numbered balls from one to 100, and then somebody reaches into the bag blind and pulls out uh, a number, sometimes two numbers, sometimes three, depending. And uh, if you have bet on that number, say you bet 52, you only bet 50 cents you might get $50 or $100. Where was he running his the games? You know, like the old dime, five and dime store where they had everything. And they would, they would usually go in and, and corrupt some of the owners or threaten them. And they would actually do it right out of their stores. So Doug Kelly's book, Sunshine State Mafia, comes out tomorrow and profiles the role of these mobsters, along with his own experience as a former private investigator encountering mafia figures. You can find the story right on the homepage of ClickOrlando.com or in the News 6 app under the Strange Florida section. I want to know where the name Bolita came yeah, from. Yeah, that's interesting. Right? And yeah. you really don't think of the mafia having a big role in Florida. Here, right. Fascinating. Mm -hmm.